Safety step one, make sure your account looks genuine and not generic. So what I mean by this is, make sure that you've got a clear picture by yourself and the profile does not look like a duplicate, it doesn't look like a spam account. You want to make your profile look genuine. You want to make it a personal profile with a business aspect. So here as you can see, I've got an account, it's got my name on it, it's got my location, and also just a little brief about me. I'm a 24 year old marketer from Suffolk UK. I want to inspire people on the journey of entrepreneurship. Connect with me. So this is perfect, short and sweet. It looks very genuine. I've got a clear picture of myself. And then also I've made some nice pins which I created inside Canva. So I've got 10 tips for online business. And then I've got my link in here, a nice pin, I'll show you a couple of more other ones that I've put in there. So do the impossible, go against the grain. So some motivation here. And then you'll also see that there's lots of other stuff just like your pins too, which you can repin as well. However, I always believe it's best to do your own pins and leave the bot to do the repinning for you. So another pin I made every day is a new day for change. It's really easy how I made these. Like I showed you in one of the training videos, you can just use Canva and there's tons and tons of templates here which you can easily just customize yourself. This only took me five or 10 minutes making five pins. So it's really, really fast and it's definitely worth it to keep your account safe. Do not post direct affiliate links. So what you need to do is you need to use a landing page with your custom domain so that you can then put your affiliate links there. Do not direct link affiliate links. This is because there's going to be loads and loads of that same domain running around Pinterest. Okay, so you want to have your own website. Like I showed you, you can get your free landing page, you can get a really cheap domain. And if you've got an existing WordPress, click funnels, lead pages, whatever it is, that's absolutely fine too. You can use this. So to do this, all you do is you go to the settings and where it says claim, you don't actually have to claim it. You can just put it in and press done. Claiming is the safest way to go though. And you just need to put the header tag in the header section. So if you click claim, it will ask you to pick an option. My domain has already been verified on another account, so that's why it won't let me press claim. So you just go back to your profile and you'll see your link has been put in here. So make sure you do not lose an affiliate link because this will just make your profile look absolutely awful and you're very likely to get suspended. Also with links, in your pins, make sure you use the domain too. You can easily add them in when you're creating a pin just like I showed you. But make sure you do not use affiliate links if you want your account to last longer and not get suspended. Step three, make sure you have pins that do not look like you're trying to sell something. Don't have pins that look like you're trying to sell something, okay? Because this is just bad content and Pinterest don't like stuff like that on here. Instead, you wanna have little advert type things like 10 tips for online business success. So not like buy this now. They don't like that kind of stuff. So make sure you keep that off your profile. Let me just show you some examples of these bad pins. So stuff like this, make $6 a day passively, all this kind of stuff, stay away from these kind of things because eventually you'll just end up getting banned, especially if you're using your affiliate link. So to make your account last the longest, to get the most traffic, try and stay away from these kind of pins. Instead, have very genuine stuff that's going to attract people to, to have interest in your website. And you can also always put in the caption, you know, a very subtle message about this. So whatever you're trying to advertise, make sure you're just getting these people off the platform and you're not shoving something in their face straight away. Step four, do not make any mistakes with comments and DMs. So what I mean by this is, don't have too many duplicate direct messages or comments. 
and also make sure you test the spin tax so that it doesn't look really odd. Or don't make any mistakes when you're filling out the comments and direct messages section of the software. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if you're going to use spin tax and spinning, which is usually the best way to use the software so you come up with loads and loads of um, brand new sentences each time, you want to make sure you do it like this. Make sure it looks like this. Do not make it like this at all. So let's say you put, hey, hi, you know, this is a mistake, stuff like that, things like that. Don't make sure it's 100% hey, hi, hello. Make sure it's 100% like this, because otherwise this is what will happen when you send a DM or add a comment. It will come up like this. This is what will be seen on your comments and direct messages, which will instantly have your account suspended. So make sure you follow the spin tax format properly. Same goes for direct message. Make sure you use the spin tax format properly. Step five, if your Pinterest account is brand new, make sure you start slow and fill up your profile. So make sure you filled it up with lots of nice pins and you're not running the software too fast. This is if you've made a brand new account. So step five, make sure you start slow and fill up your profile properly with nice pins like I showed you in the previous videos. So you just need to go to speed and click slow. You can even go slower than this if you want. I would recommend going even slower than this, maybe to two, two, okay? Because if you've instantly started a profile, Pinterest doesn't really know your habits. So if you're following loads and loads and loads of people straight away, it's gonna look suspicious. However, if you just lower yourself in, like you're a new user on Pinterest, you're starting to like it, and you're using it even more and more, that's the safest way to do it. Also, like I said with pins, just make sure your profile is filled up with some pins before you do anything like this, okay? Step six, to avoid ban on a valued account, make a new Pinterest account. This is to avoid any disappointment in case your account gets suspended. Remember, there is always a risk using automation on Pinterest, so you have to take all the steps necessary to make sure your account doesn't get suspended or completely banned. And finally, step seven, do not use Pinterest or log in from another IP when the software is running, because this will instantly flag you up to Pinterest and may result in account suspension.